Okay, this is Eric at Flex PVC. So this is how you take apart uh, the, these uh, gate valves, which of course can't get anymore. The company's not making them anymore. So for the bigger ones, you can usually just grab the uh, body of the valve itself. You're going to use a big old crescent wrench. I recommend a crescent wrench, not uh, channel locks, because channel locks will ting this up a little bit. So you can find crescent wrench that that'll open this big and you just hold it really tight and it'll unthread once it unthread the reason it's really tight is because there's an o-ring right here at the top you'll see so this comes apart if you have any issue with this guy going up and down the only place it could be is some foreign matter right here that's it uh, you, uh, you, there's a screw here uh, and i would recommend you take the screw out this handle should come off and then you can take this this part all the way off make sure there's no um, foreign matter or uh, molding issues on the shaft or the piece here and then put it back together so now uh, when the, the bigger ones are actually easier to get apart than the little the smaller ones and if you have a leak if you have a leak obviously just put your wrench on here and tighten it down and you gotta get it pretty tight there now that was easy for me to tighten now to take this apart is gonna be really hard because it's easy to tighten Taking it apart is really hard. Okay, so now when you get the little ones, uh, once again, crescent wrench or something, but you're gonna need a piece of pipe. Oh shoot, I don't have the right size pipe. <laughs> oh, just close it, okay. So I'm back. <clears throat> All right, now I chingered up this one here, sorry, but I did a little bit because I was trying to get it. Make sure this is really tight. Okay, now it should come right off. There we go. So you can see that you really need leverage to get it off. And it's really important to get this on here really tight. Uh, there's some better pliers out there uh, to do this with. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I messed this one up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so right here, that's what happens. I didn't have the crescent wrench tight enough and I was not holding this steady enough. So it slipped off the top here, it slipped off the top right here. So oh, there, right there, okay. Anyway, so now I'll go back to this. So anyway, so that's how you take them apart. Matter of fact, I'll go get a screwdriver. All right, so just take a screwdriver, take the screw out. This should pull off, there you go. Now this comes out. Eh, didn't want to do that. There's, there's lube on here, and I got it on my cloth. And there should be O-ring in here. Make sure this O-ring's not uh, damaged. Uh, sometimes when the machine puts the O-ring in, it can misalign it and then it gets squished or something. That might be the problem why it won't go up and down. But that's it. Alright, put it back together. There we go. It's uh, very easy to get it tight. It's very hard to untighten it. Okay. There we go. So that's it. That's all I got to do. Thanks for watching.